In this video, we will be graphing cube root functions, but before we can really do that, we need to take a close look at the parent function, which is the cube root of x. Now, think about x values that would be easy to take the cube root of. Of course, uh, it would be easy to take the cube root of 0, because that would just be 0. And the cube root of 1 is 1. Um, but after that, we're dealing with 8. 8 is a perfect cube. The cube root of 8 is 2. And uh, the negatives work just as well. The cube root of negative 1 is negative 1, <clears throat> and the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. Now watch what happens if we plot these points. All right, we get this pattern right here. Now if we connect the dots to see what's going on in between the points, it's going to make this type of a curve. And then it will continue like that forever. So this is what the parent function y equals the cube root of x looks like. It's sort of like a wave that goes from low to high. Normally it passes through the origin, 0 comma 0. Now let's talk about transformations. Um, if we take this cube root of x, um, if I were to do a minus h underneath the radical, that would move the graph to the right h. If I did a plus k, that would move the graph up k. And the signs are important. If this is plus, it will actually move to the left. If this is minus, it will move down. So that should be enough information for us to um, take a look at the uh, graphs on a multiple choice situation and uh, narrow it down. So when we look at this equation, the main thing that's going to help us pick which one of these is the right answer is the plus one underneath the radical. Now remember, when you have a number added or subtracted under the radical, that's going to be a left or right transformation. Um, when it's minus, like this, that's when it's going to the right. Um, but when it's plus, like this, it should be going to the left. So we are looking for a graph that is shifted to the left by one unit. So I look at A, and I see the center of the graph is right here, and that does seem to be to the left by one unit. So this is probably the answer, unless it has some competition from one of the others that's also to the left one. Um, this is not even a complete wave. The rest of it's missing, so it can't be B. This is up one, not left one. And this is like um, right one and down four. So that's definitely not it. So the answer is A.